Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. So the LA showdown is about to start at 1200 trophies. You're going to win a car. So I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to do well on a showdown, even if you don't have the fastest car in the game. Okay. If your car is too slow, it's too slow, but you don't have to have one of the fastest cars in the game to make it through. Just follow my advice and you might be surprised. A lot of people say I had no idea I was going to be able to get this, but thanks to your advice, I did. So, all right, I'm going to give you that advice here on this video. So, first thing is, these are the cars available to use. The Ford GT, that runs around a 9.0-ish, all right? That's the fastest car that I have that I can use for this. Next is the Ford GT40 Mark II, that's much slower. We got the Venom GT Spider, that's a very nice car, but I don't really have any parts for this thing to make it fast enough, so I can't use it. Alright, then it shows these prize cars, which I'm not really sure why it shows three prize cars. And that's kind of strange. Um, dealership, it says you can use the 003S, the Dutch Boys Hot Rods Camaro, the GT66 Heritage Edition. So you might be able to buy some of these with uh, gold or silver or something, all right? You might, after this starts, go look in the dealership and see if maybe you can find some of these things. I don't know. Rare imports. We got the Venom F5, the Dirty 30, the Exorcist, and the Ford, the new Ford GT. So those are the cars that are allowed to be used in the showdown. And I will be using a 9.0 car for this one, so I don't have... My car is nowhere near fast enough, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to make it through and get those 1,200 trophies with this 9.0 car. All right, so every couple of days, I'm going to make a community post, and I'm going to show you guys my progress. So make sure you hit the little bell notification and set it to all if you would like to see those, because if you don't, you might not get notified when I make these little posts to show you how far I'm comp comp progressing through this showdown with a slowish type of car, okay? All right, so tip number one is make sure you start the showdown on the first day. All right, you want to get an early start. You want to get as far as you can on day number one. I always tell you guys it gets easier and easier every day because a lot of the faster cars move up in trophies and you won't get matched up against those faster cars anymore, but... There's a very good reason you need to start off on day one and race this every single day. Because sometimes you get on a losing streak, all right? And I'm pretty sure the game intentionally keeps you on a losing streak if you've won too many races in a row. All right, so if you get a late start, you might not be able to make some of the trophies because the game might intentionally put you on a losing streak. All right, so that's tip number one. Now, tip number two has a lot to do with the losing streak, all right? Once you lose three races in a row, you're probably on a losing streak. So at that point, it's time to stop racing for the day or for a few hours and come back later, okay? What I usually do is I do 10, tanks, 10 things of gas, just one tank of gas in the morning and usually a tank of gas in the evening. All right, and as soon as I hit three races, I stop because once I hit three, I'm probably on that losing streak and if I keep going, there's a pretty good chance I'm just going to keep losing more and more and more trophies. And that's going to set me back. You don't want that setback. So as soon as you lose three races, stop and come back several hours later or come back tomorrow. Okay, that's tip number two. Tip number three is kind of an alternate version to that. A lot of people will come in and they'll race one race an hour or two races every hour or three every hour. So people that have the time to get on very, very often might just get on and win a couple races here, a couple here. Every hour or two, they come back for a couple more races. That way, they're, they're just winning a couple, winning a couple. They never really seem to get on those losing streaks as often. Until their car is hit like the maximum it's going to be able to do for that day, they don't really hit the losing streak. So that's another very good way to make it through these things, all right? Tip number four is follow my advice. Do not get discouraged and stop trying because if you stop trying, you're never going to win. And you've got to stick to these rules, man. Every day, you got to get at it. Every single day, you got to get in there and race this thing, all right? If your car is a little bit slower, and you don't get on here every single day, 
well, there's a good chance you're not going to do it. So stick to these rules like glue. Stick to these rules like glue. Tip number five, make sure you figure out the best shift pattern for your car and make sure your car is tuned well because if your car is not tuned well and you don't know how to shift that car, you're gonna have a lot harder time because your car could run much faster than it is now if you're not doing it right. So that's very important. All right, make sure you look up the shift pattern. And you know, I got a great playlist on tuning that teaches you guys how to tune your cars. If you don't know how to tune a car, make sure you guys check out that playlist. All right, it'll be very, very helpful, I believe. Tip number six is pick the fastest car that you have, which is allowed into this thing. So. What I do is I go through here and I look at the EVO points. For example, the Ford GT has 1,420 EVO points. So I'm going to go look through the rest of the cars that I own and I'm going to see if I have another one that has more EVO points. And usually the car with the highest EVO points is going to be the fastest car that you have. For example, my Ford GT40 Mark II has 1030 and the GT has 1420. Well, I already know this runs in about a 9 and I think the GT40 runs like an 11 so usually but not always all right the higher the evil points the faster your car is going to run so if you have two cars with similar evil points make sure you test them both out and figure out which one is actually the fastest and that's how to choose which one of your cars just say you add all of these cars and you're just like man I don't know which one to use generally you just pick the one with the highest evil points and like I said if you got two that are similar make sure you do some test runs and figure out which one is actually your fastest and generally when there's a showdown there's going to be free park crates available for these cars all right there will be park crates available for a lot of these cars so if your car isn't maxed out and you really need it to be you might be able to sit, spend some bronze keys on your cars to get parts all right you got to be careful though because make sure it's a car you really want to spend your keys on be i'm about to sneeze here guys hold on Okay, so make sure it's worth it to you to spend your keys because I save my keys for months and then I wait for something awesome to pop up so I can get enough parts to max it out. But on something like this, even if I do win the prize car for the 1200 trophies on this, more than likely that prize car is just going to sit in my garage and it's going to collect dust. I may never even drive that car, so think about it. Am I, if I get this car, am I actually going to use it? Those of you who are trying to get through the, uh, you know, the whole storyline of the American road trip and you've got all the cars and stuff, you might actually need this car in the future. I'm not 100% sure, but a lot of us aren't ever going to need to have this car. So that's just something to think about before you spend all of your keys on the uh, bronze keys on the crates to try and get parts for this car. Now, if you don't have a good car for the showdown, always make sure you look through all of these things. Go into the dealership. For example, you may or may not be able to get a Ford GT with gold or game cash, or you might be able to go into rare imports and pull one of these cars with crates. But a lot of the times, there's going to be some way to get a lot of these cars, whether it's buy it with real money, all right, buy it with gold, buy it with game cash, or get it with your keys, okay? So sometimes there are a lot of different ways to get some of these cars if all you have is a really slow car but you always want to make sure you're going to be able to get the parts for the car as well which is kind of the hard part I would say now unfortunately some parts are going to be pay with real cash only for example whatever is in this uh, this step up thing here these are all going to be paid parts all right the SSC parts are all going to be paid you're not going to be able to get those with keys. You're going to have to pay real money for these. If you go over to the American Road Trip tab, you're going to see a whole bunch of uh, parts here. You're going to have to lock some cars into American Road Trip. Surprisingly, I don't see a crate set up for the showdown. Usually there's one in, in here, but uh, maybe it's because I haven't actually started racing the showdown yet, or maybe it's uh, just lagging behind and it'll be here a little later. But yeah, a lot of the times you might come in here and you're gonna see cars for sale also if you click the little plus on top of the screen here and go into where you can buy stuff with real game cash 
personally I don't have the money to be spending on you know these cars and the really expensive parts everything is very overpriced on this game but in case you want to look for $54 you can get four cars here all right you can get that Camaro you can get the SSC you can get the Venom and what's the fourth car then the Dirty 30 you can get all of those for $54 is that a good deal I don't know that's very expensive if you if you ask me they're all tier 5 cars for 24 bucks you can get just the Venom or here it says rare imports you can get the the red Venom so in a second we're gonna click on that and see what happens all right you got a uh, this has nothing to do with the I don't know why this is in here this is that uh, GTS car but sometimes all right Lamborghini sometimes you can come in here and buy some of this junk but let's get back to the very first thing let's click on this where it says rare imports and see if this car is available to buy with gold or game cash I'm not sure why else it would oh okay loyalty reward that's really weird that's really weird I bet there's gonna be a 10x chance with gold keys it doesn't show it right now but I have a feeling all right right now it's showing this so I would wait for the 10x chance symbol to pull go up but you might be able to pull this with gold keys right now okay all right so hopefully that pretty much covers everything that's my advice on making it through the showdowns if you follow that advice even if you don't have the fastest car I would say if you've got a car that runs somewhere between 10 seconds 11 seconds 12 seconds you might even be able to get it with something like that I can't guarantee it I don't know how fast your car actually needs to be every showdown is very different and you never know what opponents you're gonna go up against but a lot of people follow my advice and never thought they were gonna make it through the showdown but they did like I said every couple days I'm gonna try and post a photo of how many trophies I get with my 9.0 car and I know a lot of these cars are gonna be running way faster than me so I've got kind of like a mediocre mid-range car and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to make the trophies no problem and a lot of people it takes them to the very last day out if you got the slower cars and you you take my advice sometimes you don't get it to the very last day but do not give up guys keep trying and trying and trying and you might be surprised you just might make it through and I think that wraps it up guys so all right I will catch you all later thanks for watching you guys are awesome and I hope you all have a great day see ya